September 7th, 10 o'clock in the morning, district court courtroom number one. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It is trial time. Oh, mercy. Court is now in session for the trial of Mrs. Maya Faye. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. No, no, that's not good enough for him. Look at this batwing motherfucker. Look at that hair. Holy schmaholy. Um, what kind of voice should I give him, huh? What, 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 what vibe does this guy's give you? The guy in the memes. I have seen, I have seen his picture before. Um, I didn't know he was Edgeworth though, and I don't know what this entails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's about right. What kind of voice do I give this guy? He does look a little weird. <clears throat> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Yeah, that'll do. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today or he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Mrs. Maya Fay, hey. ah. was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. Man, Edgeworth's voice really does a number on old Tinderbox. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Ms. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor, the prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumption. Here he is. Ah, uh, good to see you again, fucker. Witness, please state your name and profession of court. Sir, my name's Dick Gumption, sir. I'm the detective in the charge homicide down precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of the murder. Very well, sir, let me use this floor map of the office to explain. Very professional. Very, very fucking professional, Detective. Well, I was found by the window here. The cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be deadly weapon even in a girl's hand, sir. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Wait. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. I mean, that could have just been a dumb, like, a dumb, like, macho, toxic remark. Wait a minute. I've got a theory. I'm not gonna say it yet, but I have a theory. Um... We'll save it, okay? We'll see if it's right. Court accepts the statue's evidence. Again. This still calling it a statue. <laughs> Floor plans added to the court record. Now, detective. Yes, sir. You immediately arrested Ms. Maya Faye was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm, detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Witness testimony, Mia Fey's arrest. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people here already. The defendant, Ms. Mia Fey, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright, which does not look good for me, by the way. I immediately arrested Ms. Mia Fey. Oh, yeah, we had a suit of that. The witness saw Ms. Mia Fey at the very moment of the murder. The very moment, you say? <laughs> very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-contamination. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, I will. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. <laughs> I'd knock my fucking headphones off. Smack! Oh, never mind. I thought he was saying, like, whoosh, like the, the secret went over his head. I just threw something at me. When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. That's dishonest. 
Um, I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. All right, let's give this a try. Something the matter? <laughs> no, Your Honor, I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Cross-examination, Mia Faye's arrest. Am I going to get a tutorial here? As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. This is the testimony from before. There were two people there already. The defendant. All right, what do I have? No, 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 what? Are you absolutely sure it was us? All I did was hit tab. I wanted to open the little clues. All right. Listen, pal, your dumb act only gets so far. With your funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like, like suspicious people at a crime scene. <laughs> he does have a point about her. Pretty unmistakable. I should pick my points. I didn't mean to. Okay, so there's only present. So all I have to do is catch him where it's shaky. So no. Immediately arrested Ms. Maya Faye. Why? We had a witness count describing her. The witness saw her at the very moment of the murder. Bullshit. night at nine she wasn't supposed she wasn't there she wasn't there oh, oh we got another one we got another one for the counter we got another one for our objection counter up there in the corner hang on let's let's reactivate that that's a seven baby this evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement your honor mc gaming lab how you doing tonight we are about to kick some ass. Um, I forget, have you played this before? Were you the one who recommended this to me? Whoever it was, whoever it was, if it was you, you didn't tell me there was a show. You didn't tell me there was also a Phoenix Wright show. We gotta watch the show. But not yet. How exactly is the evidence boop and bop beeps? They aren't, are they? No, not at all. Mr. Wright, please think fat. Fuck you! Listen, she wasn't there. I don't remember. I don't remember, MC. I don't know if it was you or not. I won't judge. I don't think that won me any points. Well, fuck the judge, man. Oh, I have a health bar. Uh-oh. The witness saw her at the very moment of the murder. I can't see a single contradiction in there either. You don't think it was you? Have you at least, have you seen or played this before, MC? Because it's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a doozy to catch up on. So I have to take Mai's advice and press him on anything suspicious. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. <laughs> there were two people there already. <laughs> basically, basically, MC. Oh God, I, I don't know what that is exactly, MC. Everybody kept saying it when I said I was gonna play this game, but um, oh my God, it's toasty in here. Essentially, I'm. I'm I'm on the defense for a girl, the sister of my boss from the first chapter, um, the chief. She's dead. The chief's dead. And the girl, the sister, is the prime suspect. I'm trying to defend her. I mean, she she's more than a suspect. She's on fucking trial. It's a mem mem It's an anemone. There were two people there already. The defendant, Ms. Maya Faye, and me. He immediately arrested Ms. Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. <laughs> we had a witness account describing her. Hang on. <clears throat> the window. The window. The window. In the hotel room said the window was too far away that you'd be able to recognize anybody's features. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, let's get let's get another one in here. Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. I don't see the country three. Yes, it does. The window. The what 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 Pinky said. Objection overruled. Oh my God, I'm getting my ass kicked. That's not fair. I can't see a single contradiction in there either. Apparently, neither can I. As soon as the phone call came in, he rushed to the scene. True. 
There were two people there already. True. That was us. Immediately arrested Ms. Faye. Yes, he did. He, he... I mean, he arrested when he saw this. Wait, yeah. I guess he didn't immediately arrest her. Oh my god. I think that would be a cool thing to do to, uh, on stream. If I could get the permissions. Uh um, To do a watch along. Your Honor, that statement contradicts the evidence. Fucking! 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 <laughs> I'm losing so much health! What do I do? We had a witness account. Help me! I can't see a single contradiction in there. <clears throat> He did! He did rush to the scene! There were two people. Me and her. Arrested Maya. Sure. Hang on, hang on. We had a witness account describing her. Death was instantaneous. I don't have anything there that, that contradicts that! The witness saw Ms. Maya at the moment of the murder. Is this where I had to do it? If this, if this is the case, I'm going to be angry. If it was just the next thing over. Wait, no, 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 no. That's where I did it. That's where I did it last time. I don't know what I'm talking about. We had a witness describing her. Right? Wrench gang, how you doing? We are trying to solve a murder here, and I'm this close. I mean, I'm not. I swear, though, if that's the case... Do you guys, did you notice, did I use the, did I use the, the, the window plan on this one or this one? Um, Wrench Gang, if you're not, if you don't know what's happening, justice, that's what's happening. I can't see a single contradiction in, it's all that's left. It's all that's left. at the very moment of the murder? The autopsy report. I mean, all the autopsy report says is <clears throat> that her death was instantaneous and that the time of death was at 9 p.m. We had a witness account. They saw her at the moment of the... Oh, no! Um, as soon as the phone call came in. Hang on, when was the phone call? Doing amazing? You're getting married? Are you really? Are you really, Wrench? Are you fucking with me? <laughs> there were two people there already. The defendant and the lawyer. I immediately arrested my, Ms. Maya Faye. You are? If you are, congratulations, man! Holy schmoly. If, if that is the case, then I, I extend a strong tinderbox congratulations to you. Hell yeah. Awesome. Um, hang on. I'm trying it here. Because none of those would work. I'm trying it here. I'm going to try it here. That's another one for the list. That's ten objections. Your Honor, that statement contradicts the evidence. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, Your Honor. I'm a fraud. All right? So shoot me. The witness saw... Oh my god, what is this? What do I do? Q. Oh no, I forgot! I forgot I had that option! I'm a dumbass! I forgot I had the Q thing! Don't play dumb, you know who the call was from, a customer. God damn it, I didn't notice I had the Q option down there. Because, because, it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but that bar is still there, so I can only see half of what's down there. I pressed. Hang on, this is important now. 
As soon as the phone call came in, he rushed it. This! Yes, that! That is that is precisely what I think, too. So, Wrench Gang, essentially, if you haven't played this, and I'm, I'm saying this to recap for everybody, that fucking uh, Neko girl said she saw it all. She saw and recognized us through that window, but we went into that a hotel room and looked out, and there was no way you could identify features in that hotel room. I feel like that's the contradictory thing here, but they wouldn't know that yet. It's not a contradiction of theirs. It's a contradiction to the evidence I have, so I can't use that yet. As soon as the phone call came and he rushed to the scene, there were two people there, me and her. Immediately arrested. Not really! Why is that? What's your reason? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw her at the moment of the murder. That's not true! All right, good. At least I can do that in the an infinite amount of times. Also, we're going to have to move the objection counter over. It occurs to me that that's now, um... A, in the way of my health bar. And B, too large for the thing. We're going to have to shrink it, too. There we go. There we go. Much better. All right. Moving on. There were two people in there. The defendant, her, and me. I immediately arrested Mrs. Boopadabop Beeps. We had a witness account describing her. Hold on one second. The music went away. All right. It's what we were saying, but it was a roundabout way of getting to it. Fair enough. Yeah? If I heard correctly, you said... Yeah. You said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did, did I say that, me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. <laughs> exactly what was about this suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence. What? Oh, Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't pink, pal. She's pretty fucking pink. Um, well, I guess she is pink. <laughs> Little pink nightmare. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um, mm, I guess pressing can have its advantages. All right, if I had noticed that, I wouldn't have lost all that health. Yes. God. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up my testimony, Your Honor, sir. Uh, there was something I should have told about, 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 about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. New testimony. Bring it on. And after securing the suspect, I examined the, cr the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blonde. A lab result showed the blonde was the victim's. There she is, for those of you who weren't here. That's her. That's my chief. That's my boy. That's my son. <laughs> I'm sorry, all right? It's been a long day. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Hustle, 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 hustle. Everybody shut the fuck up. How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. All right. Hmm. Before we begin cross examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Your Honor? Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of information the first time? <laughs> I kind of like him. Eh, I know I'm a real embarrassed I forgot about it. Sooner. Try to be more careful. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. <laughs> you see the problem? MC, do you mean you see you see the contradiction? Well, let's see. Let's check it, let's check it out together. After securing the suspect, he examined the scene of the crime with his own eyes. True. He found the memo with the piece of paper next to the victim's body. Yes. Found a memo written on the Baba Boop Beeps. On it, the word Maya was written in blood. Lab tests show the blood was the victim's. There was blood found on the victim's finger. But! But! How the hell did she write her name on that piece of paper 
If she was already, she already done been murked. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, <laughs> give me that sweet fucking justice, baby. Just, just put it on my face. <laughs> I want to rub it into my skin. <laughs> There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Faye. That's really what you're saying. What? This is one of those learning tricks now. I said, of course you're wrong. What else could have? You have it backwards, motherfucker. I mean, detective. Backwards? Straw? Straw cab? <laughs> the victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But! But! No butting your way out of this one, detective. Hustle, 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 hustle. Look at that motherfucker. Order, order! The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had time to write anything down. I almost just knocked every. Oh no! Mr. Wright. Hang on, you puffed up fucking peacock. I gotta change the, uh, the, the objection counter. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? Oh yeah, I wasn't supposed to have this, huh? <laughs> the day after the murder, which is awfully fucking quick for an autopsy report, I will, I will admit. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution point being... <laughs> That autopsy report is outdated. The fuck do you mean? The second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Oh, you son of a bitch. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. But there's a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. Bullshit. Your Honor. Look at this big, gross fucking sausage. Look at it. Look at his big, meaty sausage hands, huh? It's quite easy to imagine the victim did have time to write Maya. <laughs> oh, I just wanna. <laughs> just wanna. <laughs> I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. I kind of like his style, I'll admit. I kind of like his, like, just his, like, kind of what I do at the beginning of every stream. You know, you guys know the, the whole. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? You're a sham, Edgeworth. The detective's a sham. I'm a sham. The whole fucking court's shams. I probably shouldn't call his ass out. But I'm gonna... Nah. Is there anything I want to say? Um... Look at my cell phone! This detective's a dickhead. Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham. How could you give me a faulty report? I thought... Detective Gumsh... Detective hey, Erp. I'm disappointed in you. Handing him the wrong report like that. Almost like it was planned. Eh, I am. Uh, sorry, sir. You're a fault, Detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. But... Sigh. Your Honor... I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. Died from blow to the uh, uh, blunt object. May have lived for a few minutes after being hit. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying her killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. <laughs> Darn, this isn't good. I do like Edgeworth. I do, I do like this already. My guess is he's either the antagonist or he's going to end up like joining forces with me and being like a 
like a fucking dumb like like you know the funny guy and the and the serious full of himself guy we'll see though prosecutors like all the next witness this poor innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes hustle, 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 hustle. you know who that is right hey wrench gang um and mc gaming lab you guys weren't in here I'd like to introduce introduce you to a, a real fucking character here. Let the witness Miss April May take the stand. Have you? Do you have your 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 nya hand ready? Exactly what part of her is innocent? Yeah, <laughs> not the part I'm thinking of. <laughs> She's still doing it. <laughs> no 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 no. Witness, your name, please. MC. Even better. Even better. She did a fucking... <laughs> April May, at your service. Oh my god, what is she wearing to court? What are you wearing to court? An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. No witness will refrain from wanton winking. Dude, wanton winking is an awesome, like like band name like a like a pseudonym for like like a musician or an author oh yes your honor yeah i think you're jumping the gum by like seven different games mc <laughs> this game this is the first in the series yes your honor this is not good she's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom tell us where were you on the night her really I don't know about that. When the murder occurred. <laughs> I love the fucking sprite work in this game. I really do. It's so good. I was like in my hotel room. I checked in. <laughs> no screenshotting me doing that, by the way. I don't want that out on the internet. I don't. I don't want any. I don't want any imagery of me with the, with the nia hands. I checked in right after lunch, and this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Company Law Offices. Mm, that's right, big boy. Don't say that. Please have fun court about yourself. All right, cat girl, bring it on. It was like nine o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know. Okay, that checks out. And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. The woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. She booped her in the snoot. No! The one with the long hair, she kind of slumped. In the end, that's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Well, Your Honor. I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Whoa, whoa, wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness testimony just now was quite... Firm, didn't you? <laughs> Come on, Japan. Mr. Wright, I understand you were Ms. Mia Fey's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. Oh, there's history here. There's history there. Presumably we're going to learn more about that. How dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Of course I'm going to fucking do it. I'll gladly to the cross examination. If only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well. You may begin your cross examination. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Let's do this, boys and girls. What are you guys thinking of this? What do you think of this? I'm I'm having so much fun. Oh my god. All right. Let's see if we can figure this out. So. She looked out the window at 9 o'clock at night. Reasonable. She saw a woman with long hair being attacked. I can do this infinitely, so... The woman with long hair. That was Mia Faye. Mm -hmm. 
slender, sort of. Well, some people might say pretty, if that's your thing. Your thing? And the person attacking her. The one attacking her was the mousy-haired girl sitting in the defendant's chair. It's bullshit. God damn it. See, the thing is, this doesn't say specifically that you couldn't tell from the window. And I only have two health bars left! So I can't. Hang on, let me look at the thing. <laughs> so the body was the body was here. Let's let's pretend for a minute here. One? What's one? Let's pretend here that I've forgotten what, what I saw when it said the window, you couldn't see anybody through the window. Um, because it feels like they just fucking forgot. I have one chance. No, 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 don't I have two? I got two, right? Is, doesn't this count as two? Um, all right. The woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. Again, that's something where you could argue you wouldn't be able to see it from the window. The girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. Nothing jumps out. Hmm. Every time you get one wrong, it takes two bars. Well then, this, this complicates matters. She saw a woman with long hair. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defense chair. How do you know she was the defendant? You know, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. <laughs> nah, it doesn't hold up in court, sweetheart. I just know. There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short, girlish figure. It could have been me. <laughs> By which I mean Phoenix Wright, okay? I, uh... Speaking, speaking, from, speaking from experience as a, a large, burly gentleman... Um, of, of five foot ten. The testimony's bulletproof, Your Honor. That's not true! That's not true! That testimony stinks. It stinks. It stinks like your stupid pink hair. Nothing wrong with pink hair in general, just her pink hair. <laughs> a stick, you say? Sure, if that stick was a, uh, a sequoia tree. <laughs> um, I'm willing to bet that you saw lying. You saw lying inside of your own brain. Did you really see the defendant? Oh, I don't like that face. Huzza, buzza, buzza. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Yes, the meaning. Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Okay. If you'd really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. <laughs> the eye twitch. <laughs> I do. I love the sprite work here. It's so good. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis. Stop giving me the sad face, man. I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. I think it's cute, okay? However... Witnesses' testimony mentions neither of those things. I almost just clicked it. The testimony is bogus. But, but, still we don't know if she was dressed that way the night. Yes, we do. I was there, you dickhole. I mean, she was, Your Honor. <laughs> I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? What are you trying to <laughs> I need to stop doing things that are going to be like screen capped and stay with me until I die. Like roar arms. I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling details were necessary. You don't think the trifling details in a murder case were necessary? Miss May. The court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in the testimony. Whoa! Did that just happen? Be a good girl. I promise. Wink. Your testimony again. Did you see that shit? Uh, they're not even trying to be subtle. Damn, I almost had her. Oh my god. The fucking arms. It's so bad. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack. 
and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her, and she booped her on the snoot. I saw it, I did. That clock, the kind of statuey clock, the thinker, I think. <laughs> Does the accuracy of my port not startle you? I see. I only wish you'd been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. Eyewitnesses account. I did see everything. I did. The victim dodged the attack and ran off to the right, and the girl with the bop beeps hit her with the weapon. That clock. Well, guys, I think she's got us. Like, it's, it's really fucking... It's hard, you know? I guess I'm not cut out for this lawyer-type deal. So, I mean, I guess we're gonna end it here. I, um... Unless... UNLESS! They thought they could fuck with me. No! No, 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 no. Check this out. Dig this, alright? A clock. Didn't this come from another testimony recently? Don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No. But I'm on to something. They made a solid point when we were talking to everybody, and they were like, man, this thing's still coming up as a clock. Or as a, as a statue. It's coming up as a statue. Over and over and over again. She didn't know it was a clock when we talked to her the first time. Give me that objection. Give it to me. Oh my god, yes. Miss May. <laughs> you know, guys, uh, the problem with this stream, you know, like, like it, it, it's just that I'm too good sometimes. <laughs> I'm just fucking around, by the way. Um, what you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? You'd like that, wouldn't you? I knew it. I knew as soon as he said revealing that she was going to pull that shit. You just said this the statue was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Erp. Yep, that's right. Keep erping. Keep erping. Keep erping. See where it gets you. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty. Of murder. <laughs> oh, baby. Order, order. Miss May. Can you explain how you knew this was a clock? Ooh, erp. Oh, come on, man. I can't keep interrupting the whatchamacallit for this. Okay. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Fuck you! <laughs> no, stop! Eventually, that's going to be a bit in this game where they do it like 12 times back and forth, and I'm going to have to update that sucker over and over again. I just know it. As you may recall, I've caught murderers with those questions before. <laughs> well, only once. So you guys know what's weird, though? The weird thing about this mission so far is that if in the first mission, right, the immediate um, the prosecution called... In the first, the first chapter, they called the person we saw do the murder as the witness. Like, from the beginning. We haven't seen Pink Man yet. We haven't seen the Pink Man from the, from the fucking flash forward. Or did we? Again, I said earlier, I've got a theory, but I, I, I'm not going to voice it yet. Objection sustained. You may continue questioning the witness. That was close. If you stopped me there, the trial would be over. What? So what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How'd you know it was a clock? What? That's... Because I heard it. Yes, I heard it say the time. So you've been to the law office as a fang company. Ooh! You fucking... You thought. You backed yourself into a corner on that one. You thought you had it. No. Hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. Hee <laughs> hee. The law office is a fang company with merchant place. Is very close to the hotel. Lawful. How you doing? I'm being simply lawful right now as I whoop the ass of this puffed up fucking, this puffed up pelican over here. 
She could easily have heard the clock. Mm, well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No. No. No, what he said. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... She couldn't have heard the fucking clock. You were at the hotel. There's no way you could have heard a clock go off in the building next door. Do I have proof? No. <laughs> I have proof that she couldn't see fine details from the window, but I don't necessarily have proof she couldn't hear it. Ah, uh, fuck you. Listen to me, Mr. Wright. In courtroom, proof is everything. Without it, you have nothing. You are nothing. Then I'd like to propose a test to see if she really could have heard. Prosecution denies your request. <laughs> Fine. On what grounds? This is a trivial matter with no direct bearing on the case at hand. Indeed, objection sustained. Damn. Time to switch directions. No. I'm not satisfied because I guess the, I guess the thing. Oh, I guess because you had to twist the head. Your Honor, members of the court, simply lawful, Animu MC Gaming Lab, everyone. It is conceivable the clock in the question rang. Inconceivable that it rang. Because, wait, the, are the batteries dead? Wait. No, the batteries were taken out? Fuck! Do either of you remember? Anybody who was here in the first chapter? That's right. The batteries. I don't remember if they were taken out or if the clock broke is the problem. Um, I think they were taken out. I think they said they removed... No, I think they said they died. I think they said the batteries died. The batteries in that clock should be dead. Should be dead. Your Honor, if you inspect the clock... Very well. Oh. Well, Your Honor, are they? This clock has graver problems than dead batteries. This clock is missing its clockwork. Oh. Well, shit. It's quite empty. All right, so the first question would have worked, too. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Mr. Wright. Would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. Clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big, fat liar. F fat? Well, Miss May. Tisk tisk. Oh, this guy's a bastard. Question mark. Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty? Somehow he knew. He is Edgeworth, after all. I'm afraid you forgot one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, and as you say... <laughs> it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. <laughs> hmm, that is true. It's a possibility the clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clock was removed? <laughs> Impossible. Of course. I have proof. What? Oh! Look at him. He's got this impassive face, right? But you can see it. You can see him. You can see his brain sweating. Yeah, that's a gross imagery. I apologize. Wasn't it you who told me that proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed is my attorney's badge, because attorneys are never wrong. Um... The clock... The floor plans... The department store receipt... Hold on, she died from... Yeah, I know that. From the call? I need to see the call again. There's something I want you to hold on for me. And it tells you the time. I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. That's not working. I had to take the clockwork out. Yoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! You lose, boy. Oh, yeah. Take that! Take a look at this. That's a very cute cell phone. Thank you, I picked the color myself. Woohoo, you have a girly phone. First of all, all right, it's 2022. You can have whatever color phone you want. Uh, second of all, it's not my phone. Listen, 
This is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. <laughs> a recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. By the way, guys, this is not how this works. You don't just present this sort of evidence beforehand, or, uh, or you do, uh, not beforehand. You don't present it in the trial, like, just, like, walk up and be like, I have this trial-changing evidence. That gets you fucking in trouble. That gets a mistrial. That gets that gets the trial suspended while they reconsider. Order order. The defendant's cell phone. This wasn't brought to my attention, and he's got a point. Perhaps Tech Gumshoe overlooked it. Oh, you smug bastard. Grumble. The good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation, shall we? <laughs> Beep. Hang on, where is it? Where's where's my where's my uh here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Wait. Normal? Telephone. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Message one. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could uh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. Dot dot dot. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Beep. Mother fucking beep. Your Honor, I think this makes clear clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived hotel. Hustle, 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 hustle. Ma, ma, ma. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that that weapon was a clock? <laughs> we got her. We got her, boys and girls. Well, well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? Oh, she's so screwed. Oh my god, the fucking bounce, dude. I forgot. Wink. So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Judge, this was the judge who presided at the first case. Does the judge have any... Oh my god, wait, wait. Guess what? I'm, I don't even need it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the counter right now. I don't even need to... I don't even need any additional information. Give it to me. Give it to me. Hang on, all right? It might still come. Hang on. Hang on. The witness claimed she'd seen it before. But this directly contradicts the... All right, fine. <laughs> I may have jumped the gun a little bit. Well, then. Let's see it. Please produce this evidence that proves the witness did not see the clock before. The clock. It was made by Larry Butts. It's simple. This clock, he would know this. He's the judge from the former case. Clock was never in any store, ever. What? Yeah. Friend of mine made that clock. Friend is a friend is a loose term here, okay? Only two exist in the world, and the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible. Everything is sold in stores these days. <laughs> Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. He's such a... D <laughs> I love it. I really do. Oomph. Oh, excuse is not on sale today. Oh, 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 oomph. Oh, boy. She going. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. Oh. What's it to you, porcupine head? <laughs> oh shit! Here we go. She, she's. We've entered final boss mode. That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! Huzzle, 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 huzzle. Whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, oh, I liked her when she was pissed off. Oh, oh, oh silly me. <laughs> did I, mm, like, lose it? I guess I did. Oh, my God. Tee-wink. 
this is scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Oh, that face! Oh my god! Hmm. Oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? This is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because you held it. This is familiar territory. I'll just use the same approach as I did with Larry. Miss May held that very clock in her hands. Mr. Wright, when was this? I mean... Okay, that's a bit... That's a little fucking... Phoenix, bring it back a little bit? You, you can't... You can't do that. You can't just accuse... You can't just accuse a witness. Ah, whatever. Huzza, buzza, buzza. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? April, May... You killed me, Faye, I say. <laughs> I need to know who made this game. I need to know who developed this game. I need to know who did the localization, because they were fucking awesome. And when you struck, the force of the impact made the thinker ring. That's when you heard it. Fuck, there it is. I knew it was coming eventually. Chalk another one on there. Tisk, tisk. You truly are a work of art, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What's that supposed to mean? It was you who just proved that the thinker was empty. Right. Good point. I didn't think about that. What's more? The witness has a rock-solid alibi. Also, so also the reason why you don't just throw out a fucking accusation like that, because I don't know about any of that. Perhaps you could explain to the poor, misguided Mr. Wright that you were in the hotel at the time of the murder. I saw her there. Didn't we see her at the thing? Yeah, we saw her in the window, although it was a little bit after. It would be my pleasure. No way! Yes way, Mr. Lawyer. Tee hee. Didn't the... <laughs> I love that face. Didn't the murder take place at 9 o'clock at night? That's the exact time I ordered some room service from the be the bellboy. Ah, the bellboy. She had the wine glasses in her thing because she was seeing the bellboy. The bellboy is in cahoots with her, but was the bellboy Pinky? Was was Pink Man the bellboy the one who hit her? Or is my theory, which is getting obviously more and more more and more obvious here, is it still correct? Incidentally, the bellboy corroborated the witness's story. Ergo, she was not the crime scene rock solid. Getting colder? I don't think so either. I don't think it's the I don't think it's the bellboy, Emo Japan. I really don't. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I think pink I think pink man that we saw, the pink man we saw do the do the do the bush bish bish bashing was her. I think it was I think it was I think it was Mrs. April May June. Um, with her hair pulled back. Honestly. You just made a serious accusation against a perfectly innocent woman. That's, that's the thing, is this is a serious accusation. You don't just say, sorry, Your Honor, that didn't go so well. But if that's the case, then how did she know the thinker was a clock? How did she know the thinker was a clock? Still getting colder, you say? Oh, shit. Your Honor, I figured it out. Well, I didn't, so uh, enlighten me, Phoenix. There's another way Miss April May could have known it was a clock. One way alone, and I have the proof? Proof, you say? Then the court will examine your proof. Mr. Wright, how did the witness know the thinker was a clock? Um, it wasn't on the... No, I didn't mean to hit that! I meant to hit the... Oh, no. This evidence doesn't reveal a goddamn thing. That wasn't fair. I didn't mean to do that. How did the thing? Don't press anything. How did they know that the thinker was a clock? Died from a blow by a blunt object. May have lived a few minutes after being hit. No, I did it again. God damn it. We've seen that already. Take another listen to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You called in a while. It's a clock. 
how would the witness know of this conversation? I think I know. Oh, you already tried to say it in chat, too. Don't spoil me. I already know. It was this. It was this. It was that. Have a look at that, amigo. Ah, ooh, that? <laughs> She's like, you fucker, you went through my drawer. <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. But that's the thing is, she could just say, I've never seen that in my life. And then not only, not only do, do I have no ground to stand on, but she's pissed off at me and will come kick my ass later. But sure, believe my word. I, I stole something from her room. Please explain what the court this is. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to that conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... Oh, please, edgy. I need fucking... I need time to not be fiddling with that counter. It's ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. La la la... <laughs> witness hands the Did you tap her phone? She looks so much like somebody... Like, somebody famous... Uh, in this shot right here, but I can't I can't put my finger on it <sighs> It's there it's just in the back of my head miss me shut up all of you what gives you the right to talk to me like that you you lawyer No, not Amber Heard <laughs> Actually a little bit when she does the when she does the my dog stepped on a bee <laughs> All of you are ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that face. That did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now do final blow. Let's not just, yeah, we can't just like, we can't just... Keep pushing that bowl. Let's let's ask her why, huh? What's up with the wiring tapping? Miss May, why'd you tap her phone? My dog stepped on a bee. Maybe that is it. Maybe that's what I'm seeing. Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity tapping irrelevant? I don't like that she talks like me. <laughs> She's saying. Exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? At the time of the murder, I was in my hotel room getting room service. How could I have killed her? If you don't believe me, just ask the bellboy. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, where's the fucking bellboy? Bring him in. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunk him quite low enough already. Fuck you, man. That's 19 so far. We're going to keep, no matter how many of these games that we play, I'm keeping that counter, by the way. We're not resetting a damn thing. I objected to calling the bellboy. Wait, why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. Exclamation point. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition. If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy... Then you will recognize that Miss April May is not the killer, thus she's innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Ms. Maya Faye. That is my condition. <laughs> Otherwise, Maya would be declared guilty on the spot. Well, guys, I mean, I, once again, I guess this is... <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound, ladies and gentlemen. We're two in it. We're doing it right now. I got nothing to lose except for everything. Understood. I accept your condition. <laughs> Fool. 
You fell right into my trap. But oh. Very well. The court calls to the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. Happy to be service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. Witness testimony. Miss May's room, sir. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I know it's too late for that, and I'm blowing everyone's ears out. I am the head bellboy in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked, I don't care anymore. I feel like this guy, he was there when she had the two wine glasses, right? Now I know that's not incriminating on its own, but I feel like there, I feel like this guy's in on it. I feel like there's something, there's something to this. There were two whatchamacallits and if she, if, as Edge, as fucking Edgeworth says, if I then can't call into question her alibi and she was in that room no matter what, then who's the only other party here? Nine o'clock on the dot. Whoa, 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 I gotta read that again when we get to it. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. Look at that face, look at it. <laughs> and I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I bet you did. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I'm ready, I hope. This is it. If I can't prove that Miss May was involved in the murder now, Maya will be finished. This is for all the marbles. I'm actually nervous. All right. <clears throat> he is the head bellboy in business for four generations. That's fine. <laughs> Received a call after 8 o'clock from our guest, Miss May. Are you sure? Well, that's not what I wanted to ask. How can you be so certain? <laughs> I checked Miss May in personally. Now nah, I know. And then I saw them. And I... Oh my god, did he just talk about... Is he fucking... What the hell is that face? <laughs> the point being, I remember it quite well, sir. What then? She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot. At 9 on the dot, you say? That's what I said. Yes. I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the television. Wanted to drink after she finished, sir. 9 o'clock, the time of the murder. I brought her at pre I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. <laughs> precisely nine o'clock. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, nine o'clock p.m. I'm calling bullshit here. Insistent to be brought then. Oh, bellboy tea here. I like. I uh, I'd like iced coffee at exactly nine o'clock. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked down her door to the crack of nine o'clock, sir. Why would someone be that particular about the time unless they were trying to force an alibi? Delivered it to our guest myself. Wouldn't he have seen the murder too from the window if he was there at nine o'clock? Animal, you're a genius. But hang on, there's more. Press until he spills the beans or his tea. You guys understand, we have only one guess. We've had only one guess. Received a call. She asked for an iced coffee. Brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot. Brought it to her precisely requested time. Of course. <laughs> Brought it to her at precisely requested time and I delivered the coffee to my guest herself. Do we do it? Do we do it? 
do we say because you were in that room with that window view, you should have also seen the murder? Because that still feels circumstantial. Because then he can just say yes. But then why wouldn't he have mentioned that too? Oh. What do you guys... Animu specifically. Hang on, let me, let me look, let me look. We still never did anything with the glass light stand. Broken beyond all recognition. That's nothing to do with this, though. Died from the thing. Would be a lot. Would be a bop and a boop beeps. It has to be you. It can only be you. Would have been weird for her to notice it. <laughs> and yeah, that's what I'm saying. Objection! Yes! This has to be it. This has to do it. The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Please? I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. I'll have to penalize you. Buddy, I was looking from over there behind the curtain and I saw this whole thing unravel and let me tell you DG Tinder socks sure doesn't know how this one resolves mm -mm -mm. I wonder who the guilty party is hmm. and as somebody who's attacked a lot of judges in his day, DG Tinder Socks thinks it was probably the cat girl. <laughs> oh no, we need, we need to, oh my God, how much, how much progress, how much progress just went bye-bye the whole trial. All right, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to speed run, all right? How could this happen to me? I made my mistake. Bam! All right, we're back. We're back with the YouTubers, all right? Um, I had to skip ahead through a bunch of trial because it made me go back to the start. And um, we're not quite to where we were because I have to wonder if maybe calling the bellboy into question was a mistake. The bellboys corroborates the whatchamacallit, so I wonder if we should not take him up on his offer. Your Honor, I figured it out. One way alone, and I have proof. Oh yeah, the wire tapping as well. Um, we're almost back to where that decision is. Um, and then we have Edgeworth, who's gonna give us his his what you call it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Absolutely. Did the victim ever say when the weapon was a clock on the phone? Yes! This is something I did not see before. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. What? Oh, that was a, that was almost worth it for that alone. <laughs> Court calls hotel bellboy to stand. Well, he's here anyway. Allow me to take this moment to save the game. I don't know if it's necessarily going to save it right there, but God knows I'm not willing to do that again. <laughs> he certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. Receive your summons in the middle of the bobby whoop bops. The witness may begin the testimony. Okay. We are back. 
I am the head bellboy at the Gatewater Hotel. Received the call after 8 o'clock in the evening from our guest. She asked for an iced coffee brought at 9 o'clock on the dot, brought it to her precisely that time, and he delivered. That's all there is to it, man. So, I can't prove... I, I can't... I have no way to prove that she wasn't... What he's saying right there. That she wasn't in that room at 9. I have to call him into question now. I think Miss May was up to something. Wanted the bellboy to remember that. Wait a minute. Wait, no. No, 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 no. That's not it. Hold on, hold on. I'm not going to say shit. I'm not saying shit. I ain't... I ain't... I ain't fooling myself here. If you have any decent seal, end this tedious cross-examination here. It was a bit tedious. Yes, it was. Yes, it fucking was. The question is, do we go do we go forward with this right now? The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen. Please wait. Does the defense have one last question? Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. The charade of justice has gone on long enough. By the way, I saw that that was another objection. You can't fool me. We may be in dire straits here, but you can't fool me. That's number 20, motherfuckers. Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question. That's all. This is my last chance. What do I ask him? All right. Check in. Room service. Head making. <clears throat> Fuck, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Now it sucks less. <laughs> Tell me again about the uh, room service. <sighs> Fuck you. Deliver the room service. I see question mark. $18. Wait, what? 18 for room service? Ice coffee for two, you know, and uh, don't skimp on the ice. Wait a minute. Wait a, wait a cotton pig a minute. Did I just do something? Wait a minute. What'd you say? Rather quiet. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? That's right. The two fucking champagne flutes. The two champagne flutes. $18 for one iced coffee. I don't think so. I object. That was objectionable. Oh, fuck. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Here we go. Yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, yes, quite. Indeed. It was the, uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oof. Big oof. You fool! I mean, he's allowed to do that. I've done it. I've won. Not necessarily. This April May checked into a twin room... ...with a man. Correct? Yes, sir. And then when you brought him room service, you didn't see that man in the room. That's right, sir. Ah, I knew it! I was wrong about her being pinky, but there was a, there was pink man. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hope that it is impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright, who is this other person? Simple. It was... Well, the man with Miss May. Or... Or is my, is my theory correct? Did she check two people in when she was just herself? I bet you... I bet you it was her. None other than Miss April May herself. I bet it was... I bet it was. Have you heard nothing that has transpired so far? She has an alibi. 
Oh, wait, right. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, I forgot. I forgot. All right, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot, okay? As has been previously revealed, she was tapping the wires. Don't give me that. Don't give me that face. All right, it's late. <laughs> <laughs> Miss May has an alibi at the time of the murder. <laughs> that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. What a convenient little setup. What about the Bob the too late? You'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you with the presence of the young man from this court. Oof. Upstart. Amateur. Those at the occasions are <laughs> Enough. The court acknowledges defense argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Oh, I understood. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of Maya Faye. Court is adjourned. Ooh, we got her for at least a little while off the hook. Holy shnikes. Mr. Wright, look at that happy face. I needed to see it at least once before we end this sucker. You were amazing in there. Oh, look at her. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. Well, then why don't you subscribe? <laughs> I'm kidding. It was just doing my job, you know? Heh <laughs> Animu, don't be mean to Maya. Then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. That face of his with his eyes wide and trembling lips. Fuck Edgeworth, it sent shivers up my spine. If you say so. So what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? That's not how it works, amiga. You'll be held in custody until the trial proceeding. I don't think so, not yet. No! <laughs> I didn't need this shit again. No, what the fuck? I got a great lead on today's trial. That man with Miss May, he's the key. I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms. Won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. This case is far closed. <laughs> I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he's the one who? Maybe so. <laughs> Sis. Sis! <laughs> Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. Thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow, but now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. And there it is. The victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. Don't know how much good it'll do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. My doesn't belong at the tent center. It's up to me to set her free. But not tonight. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. That was... A roller coaster. <laughs> save. Yes, save that sucker now. No, 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 no. I mean, yes, but no. All right. I don't want this yet. All right. Here's how we're doing this. Let me get my let me get my lo-fi up first. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Now watch. It's gonna it's gonna give me an ad. It always gives me an ad. It always gives me an ad. So here's what we're gonna do. That was a ride. I I did not expect that it was gonna make me rerun through the whole trial. Here we go. We got some music. Beautiful. So yes, um, we will indeed have to find a way to free 
our gal Maya. Um, but until then, she's in custody. Um, so Pinky, pink haired girl, was seeing somebody. We can only assume that's pink haired guy who we saw in the little flash forward. Um, now, who the hell he is, we have no clue. Ow, but that's a story for another night. So, we are going to have to call it tonight. It's, wow, it's late. We were up, oh my God, excuse me. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursdays. Um, by the way, uh, Emo Japan and any of the new guys who, who jumped in tonight, if you are interested, um, we do have a Discord um, where you are welcome to join us. And uh, that's where I go for like any uh, stream suggestions or uh, just talking about random bullshit, sharing art, you name it. And I will be doing so on Thursday. But until then... This is going to be DG Tinderbox signing off. Thanks for joining me here tonight on this fucking awesome roller coaster. I love this game. And I will see you again very soon to continue the saga of Phoenix Wright. Looking forward to it.